Okay, Bible T120, drive chain needs to be tightened. So here are the tools. I have long nose pliers. I have this wrench for the adjustment. This is to take off the uh, chain guard. This is to align the, the uh, chain. This is for the main uh, nut to loosen the wheel. And this is just because it's here. So, oh, first of all, I have to remove the rear foot peg. And the reason for this is so I can move the uh, exhaust out of the way so I can get at this nut which is the... Uh, the uh, oh, I need to remove this, use a screwdriver because it also works. Right on the floor, try not to lose that. Okay, I'll push this through. As you can see, hold on to that. Don't let that go. Pull it out. There's the uh, ball bearing. I really don't need to lose. I don't need to lose it either. Relocating pin. Put that there, put that down. Yeah. Now we can move this slightly out of the way. Don't have to completely loosen it, you just have to move it slightly out of the way. Yeah, so it's not bad. Now I have enough room to use my tool. Oh, that doesn't fit. But that's because this is a very special tool. Okay. Twenty-seven millimeters. Put it on. Stand up. <clears throat> Old trick I used to use back in the Air Force. <clears throat> what we do is we just loosen it. It doesn't need to be completely loosened. That's loosen up. Take that off. So we loosen that. I do like this tool. Okay. Also, I need to, I need to take the chain guard off. Chain guard. Tells you to look in the book to see what the deflection should be, but I've already looked. And I'll add that to the video later. But as you can see, the chain is very loose. 
chainman. It's at three inches and we have an inch and a half of chainman. Well, well close to two inches actually. So the top there is at three. The top of this goes to almost one. Well, it's now I'm placing on this tool which is for making sure my wheel and chain are in alignment. Now as you can see it attaches to the top of the sprocket it has a rod and if I can see this from uh, the rear you see that it shows the proper alignment. So I, I have this special tool it's not really that special but it allows me to get into this tight space without removing the exhaust pipes because to do this job on the T120 Bonneville is you're supposed to remove the exhaust pipes but I don't have to do this because I have this because this will fit in and it's like a socket it has lots of ridges so I can move this tiny amount at a time without having to remove the exhaust pipes which I really don't want to do so now as you can see it moves freely Uh, I'm going to mark the nut so I can keep track of how many turns I put on it. I'm going to do it both sides. Quite clever really I suppose. So here we go. Tighten it up. See, there I've done 360 degrees, it's moved it back one. So I do the same on this side. See, I have to turn around the wrench each time I want to turn it. Maybe I can't come down from here, so I'd go this way. Each time I want to turn, whoops, each time I want to move the nut, I have to turn the wrench. But it's fine. At least I don't have to take up the damn exhaust. I really don't want to take the exhaust off. Why would I want to take the exhaust off if I don't have to? That's what I say. And there we are. I turned it to 360 degrees. Let's back that back off again. Don't want that too far away. Back that off with my finger. Now, we turned it 360 degrees. Now it's time to recheck the movement of the chain. So, bring it to the bottom of that. Measure is on three. I'll move it up. Oh, look, see? That was just one movement. I will See, there we got less than an inch. That's actually a bit too tight. So, using a normal 12 millimeter wrench to hold the adjusting screw in position while I tighten up the locking nut. If we don't want it to move because we've got it straight. In. And, and we do the same on the other side. Right, so now we're going to tighten up our uh, 
main nut. Now that has a torque setting, I have no idea what it is, but through experience, I'll get it on there tight. Tight is tight. Mm. Three grunts. One, two, three. That's on there tight. Check. Room of the chain. Two. Yeah. Three quarters. Three quarters of an inch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean and lube our chain. So we've got some uh, chain cleaner. Do this like this. Spray it all over the chain. All the way around. Take our tool in here. Let it do its job. Clean it off. The other way. This is water soluble. No. No more. You don't want to use too much. Go let that sink in. And I get some water. Oh, just a thin thing of water to clean off the chain. That muck coming off. Let's wash away. DuPont Chain Saver, wax based chain loop. This makes a lot less mess than an oil based one. Let me just Let's some of it on. Doesn't have to be much. Take my uh, bag, wipe 
off of the hub. Like over here, over there. They're just everywhere. They're drying. The nice thing about this, the nice thing about this is it dries and it's like wax, so it doesn't get thrown off once you start riding. Now, got the lubricant all the right places lovely jubbly a little bit more While we're doing this, we can inspect the sprocket, and the sprocket's looking pretty good. Now, this has just got over a thousand miles on it, so you'd expect it to be good. You can see, and I've got some of the grease and oil over there, so I'm going to go and clean that off. I remember doing this many years ago when I had my first motorcycle, uh, motorcycles, and the chains were the metal in the chains was really bad. And you'd have to do this at least twice a week. This is the first, we've done over a thousand miles on this motorbike. And this is the first time I've adjusted the chain, which is not bad. I mean, I imagine it was adjusted with the first uh, service at uh, 500 miles, 600 miles, whatever it was. But uh, I can't complain. Just to have to do it at least twice a week. So now we're going to put the uh, motorcycle back together. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to recheck this. Because I've been moving it. Put that on. Put my wrench on. So the last thing you need is a loose spindle bolt. Mm. Ugh. about tight. Woo. There we go. I think these tools I'm going to carry in the toolkit on the bike. Not this, not this, not this. But some uh, wrenches and things. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the foot rest back on. See, that's where you know where it's located. Goes through here. Remember. My uh, Allen key. Just, oh, it popped out. You see that? It popped out. You know, I used to fix aeroplanes. And ground equipment, yeah. aerospace ground equipment, and airplanes. Amazing. And the only thing I wrench on is a motorcycle. I will work on my car, but not very often. So, so now the next bit is put the chain guard back on. Chain guard. And that just slides in there like that. I need the other Allen key. Got a couple of turns on that one.
tighten them up, but not over tight. Tight is tight. Over tight, you damage things. There, that's tight. Ooh, dirty hands. That off. There we go. Oh, bloody marvellous, don't you know? Oh, got to tighten up this. all that without taking off the bally exhaust. <sighs> because I have the right tools. Oh. Tight, tight, tight. Tight. Sorted. Sorted, don't you know? Sorted. <laughs> 